Hi everyone, Chris here from the Javelin Tech team, taking you through some new, nifty functionality that's available with SolidWorks 2015. As SolidWorks enhancements are primarily based on user requests, it's not surprising that every so often you'll come across a new feature in SolidWorks that makes you feel as if you've played some small part in that feature's development. That's exactly how I feel about this new SolidWorks functionality that I'm going to show you in this session. With this example, I've used the split tool to simulate a very complex pipe coping on a curved piece of pipe. It's this type of geometry that I encountered at a customer site a number of years ago that required the customer to expend copious amounts of time effectively grinding the coped end of the curved pipe in order to fit it together with its mating components. In similar situations with straight pipe, one might think about using the sheet metal module to flatten the shape at the end of the pipe, print it out on paper, and have them be able to trace the cope onto the actual workpiece. Unfortunately, that particular technique would not work for a curved pipe. SolidWorks has included functionality in this latest release that will allow me to copy the surface of the pipe and flatten that complex surface with the ability to export the flattened shape into a DWG file. Now that we've set the stage and given you some background, let's see how that new functionality would work. I'm going to isolate and select the surface that I would like to flatten, and then choose the new Surface Flatten tool from the Surfaces toolbar. In using this tool, we'll need to define the surface which we'd like to flatten, and the edge that will remain static once the surface has been flattened. You'll want to be sure to adjust the accuracy setting in order to complement the complexity of the geometry that you'd like to flatten. Once our selections are confirmed and the flattening process is complete, SolidWorks will use the mesh that it's draped over the surface to calculate out the new points on the flattened surface. SolidWorks has also given us the ability to see a deformation plot of the flattened surface once complete. The final stage in the process will be to prepare the surface for DWG export. This part of the functionality works in an identical manner to how one would export a sheet metal component to DWG or DXF. Thanks for taking some time with us to explore some new functionality within SolidWorks 2015, and be sure to stay tuned for more tech tips right here on the Javelin blog.